Mitchell here and welcome to another video and today I'm going to talk about a near death experience that I almost witnessed well okay um it was a uh, I believe it was 2015 or 2014 well well, um, I don't know how I got it. It was a staph infection, and it's a disease you do not want to have because it can kill you. Well, I I don't know how exactly I got it. I guess somebody had it. I guess I don't really know, but I had it, and because uh, one day I couldn't lift up my arm, and then. Went to the doctor and that's when they found out I had it and they had to uh, cut my arm open. Yeah, I had surgery the first time while I was awake and I got the second time. Almost died, but I'm lucky that I um, survived it. And I was in a uh, seventh grade, and I was out of school for uh, for a whole year. I didn't go back to school till January. So yeah, and uh. My second near-death experience was, okay, this was 2016, it was first, it was, um, I mean, I wasn't in high school yet, but it was, um, already, um, football when I started playing, okay, it was during the weight lifting room, and, uh, because this guy that was, Spotting me, um, he dropped weights on me. Luckily, I caught it. So, and uh, one of my friends, uh, Josh, uh, uh, he looked it up. But um, if if those weights would have fell on me, um, I would have let out and internally and died. So I'm really lucky for that. But I'm going to talk about something else. Uh, I wouldn't, I guess you could say this is a near death experience, but I'm not for sure. Okay. When uh, I was signing up for uh, football, I had to uh, do all these things like the eye test and all of that. But one day, day my blood pressure, I can't talk today. Uh, blood pressure, uh, my uh it was high that is it was a silent killer so i don't really know what caused it i guess i was just nervous or what but um during that whole month um they've been trying to get my blood pressure down because it was so high i don't know what it was um, but that's that, but I thank the Lord every day for, um, having me, um, alive. I thank him for everything, but life is precious, you know. Because we got to be nice to each other. We got to learn to forgive. We can't hate. Just got, I know it's hard, but we just got to learn to be there for each other. That's what friends are for. So, that's 
pretty much about it that I'm going to talk about. So, hope you guys enjoy. And I will see you guys next time. Bruce Mitchell, signing off.